All right, this is another project um, from the Evil Mad Scientist. This is a, a, a op amp, a 741 op amp. I did a, a previous video on a 555 timer. Um, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, but today we're going to be building up the uh, 741. Uh, again, it's a really nice, heavy duty, well quality, good quality uh, PC board, matte black uh, silk screen or um, solder mask that I like. Um, nice and thick, a point, point 0.1 inch thick PC board. Um, so you can buy these. Uh, there's online, you can go to uh, evilmadscientist.com. You can get one that's in a kit that has like aluminum legs on it. They're not operational, just they're just kind of for show. They're kind of nice. I think it's like $40 for the whole kit. Um, but you can buy the PC board just for 10 bucks. So uh, being a cheapskate, that's what I did. So uh, it is a normal 741. Now the 741 has offset null and offset null and strange pins. Pin one and pin five are the offset nulls. And then it has plus, plus and uh, plus V and minus V, and pin eight is a no connect. So it's kind of a strange pinout, um, but it's an oldie but goodie. Let's get it built. I should have all the parts in the garage that I need. Uh, it uses uh, two N3904s and 3906s and some other things in it. There is one kind of bodge, um, and let me briefly describe that before we go too much further here. Um, of course, they're trying to duplicate the functionality of an IC and they're using just generic parts. And the generic parts didn't have enough voltage range and it, they were just getting into trouble. You could build it the way that the data sheet had it, but you'd be limited in voltage. So they, they put in a couple extra diodes. This D1 and D2 are not part of the original circuit. They just add some voltage separation to the part and allows you to operate this normally. And these are Schottky diodes. They have a low VF. Um, so uh, I've got a scrounge around. I think I've got some Schottky diodes laying around. These are BAT 85s. I've been told those are kind of hard to find, BAT 83s, BAT 84s. I don't think it matters what BAT you use, but um, 80, 83, 84, 85, I think would all work just fine here. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's get it built up. All right, does it work? So here I have the board and it's all loaded up nicely. I put on a little extension cable like I did before. I, on, on this board, what I did was I connected uh, to all of the test points. So th these actually are active uh, electrically, but there's a little uh, solder uh, via right next to each one. So I used those. And then I went off to a header. And uh, uh, so now I have this, uh, header that I can put into um, development boards. So I've done that with this 470, I mean 741, and I've hooked up a circuit that's a, an inverting times 10, a 1K in and a 10K feedback resistor, um, plus or minus 12 volts. So let's see if it works. Uh, here is the input. So if I go to this is one volt per division, so we have about a half a volt up and a half a volt down. If I look at the output, uh, it should be bigger. Yeah, there you go. Now you may notice that it also has a DC offset. So the um, input uh, offset for the op amp is terrible. And that's because we don't have any matched part, right? It's not a single substrate. It's not all the same processing. See, all the transistors are the, exactly the same on an IC. I could make this better by trying to uh, match transistors. Um, and it would be a lot of transistors to match. I'm not interested in doing that. I could also uh, connect the offset. So a 741 has the ability to do offset. Um, and I could hook up a circuit to do that. but. Um, I'm not too keen to do all of those things. So we'll just live with this. We'll just live with some offset and I'll just move it down so we can see it better. <laughs> there we go. So now grounds over there. All right. So, um, uh, this is a sine wave, of course. Uh, it does look like it has a little bit of wiggly distortion on it. I think it's, uh, I'm not exactly all sure that's going on. I have, I do have bypassing caps and everything on there, so it's not really it. But um, 
One interesting thing, though, is if we go to a triangle wave, still looking okay. If I go to a square wave, uh, square wave is acceptable, I guess. Do this look like I have some power supply ripple in there? The, uh, let me drop another cap somewhere and see if I can't slow that down. Does that help? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's causing it. Uh, probably power supply or ripple rejection or maybe somebody's oscillating. I, I don't know what's going on. So anyway, um, one of the things I found out though was if I, so this is running very, very slow though. This is like 10 hertz or something. Let's see, measure. Yeah, this is 10 hertz. All right. Now we're looking at the output, so it's it's a 10. Oh, I didn't want to turn that off. Did I measure counter? I'll just put it down here somewhere. Um. Yeah, it's uh. It's terrible. So let's see here. Where are we now? Oh, it's not. I need to trigger on it, otherwise the counter can't do anything. There we go, now I can trigger on it. Okay, so here's 7, uh, 100, 107 hertz. Let's go back to the, uh, to the sine wave, though. The sine wave looks distorted. Yeah, so the part is extremely slow. I don't know what's going on. Um, here's 10 hertz again. We can go up and up and up and up and up, and it's getting smaller too, right? 60, 63 hertz. So the part is, the circuit board is just super, super, super slow. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's, what the heck's going on. I don't remember. I guess I could pop in a real 741. I think I have some. Let's see, let's do that. Yeah, I have some official 741s here. Okay, let's do that. Here. All right, let's turn the power supply off and remove the remove the IC. <laughs> it's a big IC. All right, let's put in a let's put in a 741. Uh, oh, oh, my bypass capacitor wasn't in the right pin. So that might have been it. That might have been it. But we'll hook this up here. So pin one, pin two. Uh, one is a no connect. Two, two, three, four. Yeah, that should be okay. All right, so let's try a real, a real 74, 741, I mean. And it's... Uh, Got much better offset. Yeah, much, much better offset because it has matched uh, matched transistors. All right. Uh, so let's go to triangle wave. Looks really nice. And a square wave looks perfect with no ripple or anything on it. And then let's go up in frequency. Yeah, see, this is working great. So I'm not sure what about this board. Uh, let's go up a decade. Yeah, see? There we go. We'll go up a decade. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's fast. Go up a decade. Oh, this is what I, there we go. Now it turned into a triangle wave. Um, but yeah, this is nice. So how fast can I go? Okay, let's wind it down. Wind, 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 wind. All right, we'll go up. And uh, let's trigger here. Okay, so we're at 17 kilohertz. And it kind of poo-poos at around 38 kilohertz, something like that. It's gonna be fine on sine waves. It's gonna look fine, but uh, square waves, it's flaking out on us. All right, so uh, something is kind of wiggly there, though. Oh, what's going on? Proto boards. Proto boards are awful. I don't know what that is. 
I don't know what that is. I don't have a lot of experience with 741, so maybe they just do this. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Let me put another bypass capacitor on the negative rail and see if that helps. Uh, that help? Maybe. It's still doing it, but maybe it's better. Maybe it just needs a better layout. Like I say, proto boards are awful. Yeah, but there you go. Uh, it is a fun thing. Not so much to use, <laughs> but to learn from. So uh, the next video, what we'll do is we'll go through and uh, look at the circuit design, how the 741 was designed. I will say one of the, I think I mentioned it, one of the things I had to uh, kind of bodge was these diodes here. These diodes were their bodge, but then I didn't have a BA, was it BA something or other, uh, BAS, you know, 85. Um, and uh, I needed some shocky diodes, and so I went to Anchor Electronics, and they had some 1N 5711s, uh, which are signal uh, signal diodes, uh, shocky signal diodes. So I'll picture, show a picture here. I did a curve trace on them, and uh, yeah, they look like they'll be fine for this application. And um, yeah, I think uh, looking at... Uh, Looking at the circuit, um, I used the board to make measurements. I could I could measure across resistors to measure uh, current, and I could look at waveforms and stuff to figure out how everything was working. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a good learning tool, definitely.